Hello everyone and welcome to Craftworks. Today I'm going to be making an accordion fold card and I'm going to be using the Hydrangea Hill designer series paper. My cardstock is Highland Heather and uh, the stamp set I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using the Happy Birthday out of the Happy Thoughts. I'm so sorry, I know I keep using this set but it is just so amazing. I love it. There's so many really nice sentiments in here. So what we need for this card is our card base is 11 inches by five and a half and it's scored at four and a quarter, seven and nine and three quarters. We have a belly band here that measures one and a half inches by nine and a half and then our designer series paper we have one piece that is four inches by five and a quarter five and a quarter inches then we have two pieces that are two and a half by five and a quarter this piece is for our belly band so this is four and a quarter by one and a quarter and then we have two pieces cut at one inch by five and a quarter inches. So the first thing we need to do is fold and burnish our card. I'm going to separate the belly band. Okay. So this is how it's going to open. I'm just going to press all of these down so they're nice and crisp. And I'm going to start off with the bigger piece. So I'll bring in all the designer series paper. So I want this piece here. This is my first time making this card. So it's either going to go really, really well or really, really bad. I don't really like that. It's not going to show. I know that's not the attitude, is it? But I don't want two of the same showing. This is a great way to use your DSP as well. So. that one there and then this one is going to go in here And this piece here, because I want this floral piece on the front. And I'm just going to pop that in there like that. 
It's exam time in our household today. My son is 16 and is sitting his final exams. It's actually really quite terrifying. He's not bothered, but I find it all a bit terrifying. He's actually going to be leaving school in two weeks. And it just, where's the time gone? And I think that they're at that difficult age where they know everything, so they don't need to revise, obviously. So I'm really hoping he's uh, done enough work to get the grades he needs for college. So that is what it's going to look like. So now we need to do our belly band. And the easiest way to do that is to fold this flat, pop it down in the centre, and just fold it over. Because if you tried to measure it, it would be different every single time. And just try to line it up as best as you can. Give it a little press down. But it needs to move. <coughs> Sorry. And it, it needs to move. So you don't want it too tight. So I think this is going to be a little bit too tight. So, so hold it. And run it up and down. Take your card out and just burnish the edges so you want all of this piece straight because you're not going to see this because we're going to put some circles over the top with, with our sentiments. Okay. So before I glue this, I'm just going to pop it round again and just make sure I can move it. Because you don't, what you don't want is that them to tear this band. So I'm just going to pop glue on this edge here. And fold that down. But it's quite loose. Okay, I'm going to give that a few seconds to set. Just double check in. That's good. So next up, we'll do a bit of stamping. And I am using Gorgeous Grape. It's actually pouring down outside. I don't know if you can hear it. But the weather today is awful. My husband is doing a flat roof. So I should imagine he'll be home soon. I have to close my ink as soon as I've used it because I tend to um, put my fingers in it. I can't help it. I tend to get very messy when I'm crafting. You can use any shape that you like for the front of your card. And we're just going to pop that there. So we don't want glue everywhere we just want a little bit in the center just going right the way across and pop that down ah oh. oh 
well done. I forgot this piece. Okay, do this piece first. Doesn't actually need it to be honest, but it. I suppose it does hide the join a little bit, reinforces it all. It's entirely up to you. You can add that bit, not add that bit. I think it does look a little bit better. And pop that down. Just give that bit of a press. And add a bit of bling. You could put ribbon. Anything you like. I need a third one. Oop. I really should get a picky up tool for this. I think I'm going to add that to my next order. Treat myself. And there we have our finished accordion card. So uh, I'm delighted that you joined me again this week. Um, if you want to order any of the products I've used, please do let me know. I'd be more than happy to pop an order in for you. If you enjoyed watching this video, please share it on Facebook. And uh, thank you so much for joining me today. And I'll see you soon. Bye.